Hi everyone, welcome back to the Ministry of Guitar Collection Chronicles. Today we have a, a beast, a behemoth, a massive. <laughs> this is the ESP Snapper 8. Uh, it's also called the Raiden 8 because it's the signature guitar of one of the guitarists from BB Metal. And my apologies, I just forgot his name. I'll put it in the description. But he's the cool guy <laughs> who plays the big red guitar. Um, now, I like baby metal. I am a fan. You know, there are famous songs of theirs like Karate and a couple of others. But the main reason I got this guitar was I wanted an 8th string with a Floyd Rose or rather an 8th string with a tremolo. And that was my main motivation for getting this guitar. These guitars are not that common, uh, not that easy to get outside of Japan, particularly if you want to try it. So it was on one of my uh, trips to Tokyo last year, 2022 that I picked this up um, and I have been not just, I don't want to say pleasantly surprised, but just amazed by how much I have liked this guitar. And this guitar has been one of my mainstays in the, you know, in the rack that you see just over there. Uh, so some specs on this guitar and I'll tell you what I like about it after that. So this is a 27 inch scale. Uh, there, there's another one of the same guitar that comes in a 666 millimeter scale which is 26.22 inches so relatively short for an 8 string uh, but luckily this one is a 27 inch um, this has I think it has an alder body if I'm not mistaken this has a rich light fretboard which looks like uh, rosewood actually but it feels like ebony because rich light feels like ebony uh, this has an 8 string Floyd Rose obviously um, it has Goto locking tuners, which is what I just confirmed. I never looked at the brand. And um, it has Seymour Duncan. Uh, is it Sentient and Nazgul? Well, I know the Nazgul very well. I'll, one of the things I like about this guitar. So those are the pickups on it. And it has master volume, master tone, three-way switch, and a coil split, which is done by a switch instead of a push-pull. Those are the specs, and it's got pretty decent... I think these are jumbo frets and it has 24 frets um, and of course the neck is made out of maple and it's a bolt-on construction like a strat typically would i mean this is the ultimate uh, frankenstein of a strat really right if you imagine putting a strat into some sort of <laughs> a dystopian reactor and what would emerge it would probably be this guitar um so that's the guitar uh, these are the specs i think pretty solid metal super strat as you would expect but um, it's much more than that uh, what I really like about this guitar is that despite being an 8 string guitar it is incredibly easy to play um, even when I compare it to my PRS 8 string uh, this has got a slightly narrower neck which is very simple to get used to even for 6 string 7 string players and it is just there's a quality about ESP custom shop guitars. Oh yeah, I should mention that. So it's an ESP, right? It's an ESP custom shop. Uh, so just for those of you who are not that familiar with ESP, ESP branded today is, is the custom shop. E2 is the made in Japan. There's also a cheaper made in Japan version called Edwards. And then LTD is made in Korea for the higher end and made in, I think, Indonesia now for the lower end. But this is the top of the line. This is the custom shop. So, of course, the quality is as befits that status um, and it is the thing about ESP guitars is that they are incredibly easy to play so it's like your fingers are just flying over it you can do whatever you want it's just it's just uh, the guitar disappears underneath you uh, the only other guitars that do that for me are certain PRSs but ESP original is right up there um, I particularly like the neck shape on this guitar as well um, I'm going to give you a bit of a look it's for an eight string it is not very thick it is on the thinner side for an eight string but together with the satin maple finish it's just a breeze to play and that kind of contributes to this illusion that you get that you're really playing a strat because it kind of looks like candy apple red strat uh, i forgot to mention one other specification sorry for being a little unstructured look at that big guard so this is uh, there you go this is an anodized pick guard and it's, in, it's finished in red, just like the rest of the guitar. So it's just a um, very, very cool touch and really makes the guitar, in my opinion. Um, 
so yeah the playability of this is amazing the sound of this guitar is incredibly aggressive um, and that's what i particularly like about the nazgul pickup it gives you that kind of uh, well if you like playing metal or you like playing something a little bit more genty sometimes you like to get that bit of a bullet you know like a well you know that kind of a machine gun kind of a sound very staccato and this kind of does that really really well which i'm going to demonstrate in a second <laughs> without all the reverb. It's really got that attack. So that's good about it. Uh, the other thing that's good about it, it's very, very versatile as well. So it can be surprisingly warm and surprisingly thick um, in the neck pickup. <laughs> And while this guitar is not exactly designed for clean tones, I think it does a pretty decent job. And not that this is a clean tone, this is a martial tone, but... Bridge pickup. Very useful coil splits, actually. See, if you put it in the coil split and middle position, it's... It sounds like any other guitar. Very versatile, nice, hint sound. So the, the two pickups with the coil splits gives it the standard six sounds, which makes it extremely versatile. And you can use it for anything you want. You can go to a, you can go and play in a regular pop band and pretend that you're playing a red strat and only the metal heads will know that something different going on or they think that you just have a really large guitar. Okay. So other than that, what else to note? Um, tuning stability is great as I do with most Floyd Roses, and that's just me, I don't tighten the nut fully so that I can have my tuning stability. Uh, ability. And in my experience, what I found is with the higher end Floyd Roses, even if you don't lock the nut, there's no problem with tuning stability, to be very honest. And that's what I do just for my convenience so that I can drop down, uh, you know, to whatever, to E or to D, or, or to A or to D, depending on my mood. Speaking about dropping down, um, 27 inch, is a great scale length for eight inch uh, for eight not eight inch eight string guitar, and uh, I would recommend it. It does not feel floppy. This has very light strings, honestly. I think it only has a uh, sixty four on the on the on the low F sharp, and sixty four for F sharp sounds super thin, but it's it's decent. You get a nice pop. <laughs> It's kind of nice. So I think the scale length is just right. And something about the well set up guitar and the guitar being designed with this set of strings in mind, this makes you, it makes, gives you the ability to pull off thinner strings despite the scale length not being that long. You know, it's not like a multi-scale where it's like 28 inch on this side and 25 and a half on the other. So that's, that's about it. Um, speaking of scale length playability, it's extremely easy to play leads on this. The only issue is 27 inches does get to you. So there are certain stretches which I find very easy on a normal 25 inch or a 24 and a quarter in scale net, which is a little bit of a stretch. But other than that, it's really, it's really decent. And even you can, you can pull off the stretches on this one. This is a stretch which gets to me. So this is like a three to seven. Yeah, that's a bit difficult. So yeah, three to seven to tap with that is a little bit for my for my size at, at least. But for most applications, whether whatever you're playing, it's pretty decent. Okay, so overall, really like this guitar. This along with the PRS eight string is my are my go-to eight strings. So um, the very fact that it is so comparable to a very very special guitar speaks volumes about this guitar really. Um, and it does something that no other guitar in my arsenal does, which is that it's an eight string with a tremolo. And for that reason, not that that reason is the only reason, but that's a very strong reason for this guitar to keep staying as a constantly played guitar in my lineup. Okay, I hope this was fun. Till next time.